Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the cumulative distribution function that is CDF of a standard normal random variable. The PDF of a standard normal random variable is given by 1 by square root of 2 pi e power minus x square divided by 2. This is also usually represented as n of 0 comma 1 which basically stands for a normal distribution with mean 0 and variance 1. So, uh, in this video, we will look at the CDF of this PDF, PDF, that is CDF of this probability density function. So, the CDF which is usually represented by the letter phi is defined as, phi of z is defined as, that is a CDF at a value z is defined as 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to z e power minus u square by 2 du. So, this is the definition of CDF of a uh, standard normal random variable. The first property we want to study about this CDF is that we want to prove that phi of minus z is equal to 1 minus phi of z. So, from the definition of phi of minus z, that is phi of minus z is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to minus z e power minus u square by 2 du. Basically, this integral is the area under the standard normal PDF that is with mean 0 and variance equal to 1. Uh, so, uh, this is nothing but the area under the following region that is from minus infinity minus infinity t to minus z that is up to here. So, the uh, shared area is equal to this integral where this is the normal PDF, I mean standard normal PDF. So, now by using this definition, we can rewrite this integral as the difference between the total area under the un minus the area under the unshared region. That is, the total area of uh, PDF is obviously 1 minus the area of the non-shared region and the unshared region is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus g to infinity e power minus u square by 2 du. So, the area uh, is obviously given by this expression or this integration. Now, by using change of variables that is we want to use u equal to minus t then du becomes minus dt and the limits change from uh, minus g to infinity to z to minus infinity. That is this in, uh, this expression basically becomes 1 minus 1 by square root of 2 pi integral z to minus infinity e power minus t square by 2 minus dt. So, by flipping the integral limits and also this using this minus we have cancelling with the minus basically we have 1 minus square root of 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to z e power minus t square by 2 dt which is again by definition equal to phi of z. So, which this is equal to 1 minus phi of z. Therefore, the phi of minus z, that is the CDF at minus z is equal to 1 minus the CDF at z. Basically, by this expression, what we are uh, trying to prove is that the area under the uh, PDF, uh, under the normal PDF, the standard normal PDF has symmetric properties. That is, the area between minus infinity and minus z is same as the area between z and plus infinity. That is, this area is equal to this area, especially when the mean is 0. That is basically means that this PDF is symmetrical, this PDF is symmetrical with respect to the location of the mean. And by using the definition of the CDF of standard normal PDF, that is phi of z, we can also express the uh, CDF of a general normal random variable that is general normal random variable given by the n of mu comma sigma square as follows. That is, uh, so let us uh, denote the CDF of this general normal random variable as psi of z is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi sigma square integral minus infinity to z e power minus v minus mu whole square 
divided by 2 sigma square dv. So, this is the CDF of a normal random variable with mean mu and variance sigma square. Now, we can uh, use the definition of this phi of z to actually express this psi of z. That is, we want to psi of z is equal to by using change of variables with v minus mu divided by sigma is equal to t. That means, dv is equal to I mean dv by sigma is equal to dt and v minus mu is equal to t. So, by using this uh, uh, change of variable and also the limits become uh, minus, uh, minus infinity to z to minus infinity to z minus mu by sigma. So, by using these changes we have 1 by square root of 2 pi integral minus infinity to z minus mu by sigma e power minus t square by 2 and this dv by uh, sigma becomes dt. So, we have dt. So, this is nothing but the definition of uh, the phi of z at where z is equal to this value that is z minus mu by sigma. That is, therefore, this is equal to phi of z minus mu by sigma. So, the CDF of a that is the CDF of a normal random variable with mean mu and variance sigma square is equal to phi of z minus mu by sigma where phi is the CDF of standard normal random variable. And final property we want to look at is the um, probability of an interval where, where x is a normal random variable with mean mu and variance sigma square. So, by definition this probability of an in this interval, the probability of this interval is given by psi of b that is the difference between the CDF at b minus and the CDF at a. But CDF uh, of the normal random variable with normal random variable with mean mu and variance sigma square is given by this expression. So this must be equal to phi of b minus mu by minus phi of a minus mu by sigma. So this is the expression for probability of an interval for the random variable x. Thanks for watching.